Now normally, the ladder is further back on the trailer and the pallet of shingles are on the trailer. So you, there's no lifting up heavy. You, you only lift it up to about to your waist. But because I'm doing a reenactment and I no longer have the trailer with me or I haven't had the setup, if I took the time, I would make this ramp a little bit longer so that I would actually be loading them from over here. This is really no effort at all pulling this up on this little wheelie cart. And when you pull it up, just go ahead and let the wheels go over the front of the ladder. That way it keeps it from rolling back down. Don't forget to bungee it. If you don't, every now and then you might actually lose one. It's not a problem to unbungee it. Pick your shingle off. And then you want to bungee it back. So when you uh, send it back, doesn't get caught on the ladder. Normally there's two people, one guy down there loading and the other guy up here pulling them off and carrying them on. It takes about a minute a shingle, a bundle. About one minute per bundle. A lot of times there's extra bundles of shingles up here. You gotta take them off, back down. Unhook them. them and not be able to take them back. Now normally loading shingles up on the roof is a two-person job. One of them down loading it onto the dolly and the one up top pulling it up and then moving the, the bundles over onto the roof and then and then sending the dolly back start the whole procedure over. It takes us about one minute to do a bundle. We had uh, 81 bundles and uh, it was a piece of cake doing this. Now my son wanted to do it the old-fashioned way with brute strength and lifting it up and on the edge of the roof on the back of the trailer and I'll be honest that was faster. It took us about 30 seconds a bundle that way but it was a whole lot more work and, and all that was upper body lifting. If you do this correctly and you have the, the, all the bundles or the, the pallet of shingles on the trailer or the back of the pickup truck you, and then had your, uh, the, the car a little bit closer, you could lift the shingles up, lift the bundles up easily below your waist, not, nothing above your waist, drop it on there and have the other guy pull them up. And it took us one minute a bundle. It was so easy. This dolly is basically 13 inches from there to there, which is basically the width of a shingle. I didn't want to make it too much narrower because it might pull with the bungee on it. I tied the bungee to it so I wouldn't be losing it, wouldn't be falling off, all that stuff. And then I just put a loop through some heavy duty rope to the end here. Uh, 
Uh, if you use a real small rope, it might be hard on your hands, but uh, the big rope is a piece of cake. It is actually so easy, it's, it's incredible. Uh, made of scrap wood. I got these little uh, wheels that don't rotate around. The ones that rotate around are, are kind of a pain. It might want to try to dra drive up the track. These are the ones I'm talking about. This is actually what I used the first time. Just taped two of these dollies together. But because they did this, it actually rode up over the track. Plus these wheels were a lot bigger. Um, because the track is so small, uh, smaller wheels are better. And then I, I basically strap something to the end so that it uh, stops it. And uh, this is the track that I used. It's actually an old track I made for kids, Indian guys, for the, you know, the little derby cars, little wooden cars, whatever. And you can run four cars in the track. I had it laying around. Just cut a piece of wood and use the outside edge of the, of the um, ladder would probably be just fine. Just I recommend screwing the tracks together because before one of them was popping up and it was catch a little bit on the way down but once I screwed it together it uh, worked really good. <laughs> 